what is all this expect the best stuff? Does that really work? This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. What is going on in your neck of the woods? I am doing pretty good. Trying to ride this wave in Chicago. We have been having cold weather and it's warming back up, but we're having something weird happen. Um, I guess like close to 30 today, but then some Arctic blast comes through on Friday. But after that, it looks good. 30s and 40s. And if you are from the Midwest, you know 40s are good for February. So we we inching up to spring, although we don't get much of a spring here. It just seems to go from kind of chilly to hot. But we, uh, me and I know some of my friends, we just want to get outside and, and walk around. And enjoy the great outdoors. So it's coming up in a few weeks. Oh, it's Groundhog Day. So maybe the groundhog. Oh, God. What is it? If he sees his shadow. Don't even give me the line. Whatever. Anyway. Expecting the best. Um, <laughs> it's like you say that. And sometimes people, they kind of snicker or be like, you're yeah, right. But there we go. You know, if, if somebody says expect the best, that's what you would get. And somebody laughs at that. Perhaps that's the problem. You get what you believe in. You know, if you want to have a negative outlook, then that's okay. Choose that and, and ride with it. And, and guess what? Expect a bunch of problems. But if you want your life to be great, if you want better, that's how you got to program your mind. Even when you kind of don't believe it a little bit, the little bit of faith that you do have to believe it, Ride on that because it will improve. I created this channel because I used to be down in the dumps. I used to have, as they say, bad luck, you know. Um, hey, I expected things to go wrong. I expected my car to break down and it, it would break down. I expected relationships to be failures and they were. I expected a job to not work out, um, mediocre raises, and that's what I got. But it was like I got tired of being at the bottom of the pile. And I knew that, you know, if I really had this faith that I always knew I had, why am I thinking this way? If I'm going to think, I may as well think big. I may as well look for the good. And I swear, as soon as I started thinking like that, within two weeks, it changed. I remember reading The Power of Positive Thinking in 2006, along with um, Prayers That Avail Much by Dr. Jermaine Copeland. And I put it to the test. I said, okay, so The Power of Positive Thinking is telling me to change how I think. I'm going to think positive instead of negative. And the prayers that avail much, I begin to pray them. That's a book, you all, if you want to get it. I begin to pray them daily. And I put it to the test. I said, okay. And so I stopped thinking negative. Within two weeks, my salary doubled. I was a purchasing um, employee doing some temp work. And I had to take a big pay cut. So I was doing a temp assignment making like maybe $14.50 an hour, which it was not good in Chicago back in 06, 2006. So next thing you know, I get a phone call from Kelly Services. Some of you are probably familiar. It's a contracting agency. And this gentleman was like, I have a position for you in IT doing SAP. SAP is a platform that I had learned in 2004. For purchasing I said okay sure enough he said but you got to come in for this interview right away where well, I'm already on one assignment you know you don't want to be missing days to get to another but I sure did because I had to go on this interview get to the interview he's telling me about it is with a big company you know I'll save you all the, the details so sure enough I get this job I'm working with these two great older gentlemen. It was so much fun. It was a it was a cool contract position. And I get my paycheck and I'm looking for 
$24 an hour because that's what he told me initially. It said 28 And I'm like, what the heck? So I went from fourteen fifty an hour to $28 an hour. I just started paying off debt. I was just so excited. And I called, you know, this administrative assistant, which I didn't even want to call because I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to be taking back my money. And she goes, no, Tammy, that's correct. That's the correct amount. So I was like, ha, 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 this book really works. And I know prayer works. That was ne- never a doubt. But I'm just showing you all how if you change the way you think, things can get better. Stop thinking lack. Stop thinking lack. And sometimes it may be what I just went through um, in, you know, during COVID. I just stayed the course. I began working with um, the lady that owns my private practice part time in 2018. I may have had four clients, you know, one week I'm doing therapy work, three clients this week, but I stayed the course. So about 2020, it was like, I'm now I'm at eight clients a week, you know, part time. Now I'm doing stuff I shouldn't even probably be doing. I shouldn't be doing 12 and 13 a week part time. That's almost too much, but that's what I'm up to. But I stayed the course. So nobody gave me nothing. That's one thing I'll say about my life. I was never handed things. It seemed like I always had to work hard. Some people, they have it a little bit easier, I think, than others. I was never given. I'm always grinding and getting. But I kind of like it like that because I, once I get it, I appreciate it. When things are given to you easily or, you know, some kids are spoiled. Some grown-ups, their parents have money or just spoil them they might not even have money but they just give them too much they don't appreciate it i noticed that but the ones that grind it out and have to fight and scrape to get we appreciate it so today think about your life and switch that thinking the stinking thinking don't get us anything but more of the same and you you'll be shocked how many people think negative I, I read it on youtube over and over and it's so stupid though you know i have a strong i have strong opinions so you'll hear me say things like that but it don't make sense to me they'll look at a video about uh, having healthy relationships and then this is what they'll say in the comments that's why i don't date no more i don't believe in love well why are you on this video talking about healthy relationships that's just don't make no sense if i if i did feel like that I wouldn't even look at none of that stuff. So it's some part of them, they do want a healthy relationship, but they're so damaged or bitter or jaded that they can't even see the forest for the trees. Be true to yourself. If you do desire somebody, then stand on that. Don't, don't, don't do the negative stuff. I get it. It's, it's, it's rough out here in these streets. It is, but that don't mean give up hope. You know, it's all about hope and faith. I, I'll say this. You'll hear this in other podcasts or you'll see me say this in videos. If I didn't believe, I don't even want to put my feet on the floor in the morning. If you don't have hope, why well, do you get out the bed? Just stay in the bed. If you have no hope for a better life or a better day, why stand up and wake up and, and go to work just to do the same? Why work for yourself just to do the same? I saw a lady on TV as they were representing African-Americans. And it's a lady in Chicago, a sister, black lady, young lady. She opened her own ice cream shop, 50 flavors. And I was so impressed by her. By her. I want to go to that ice cream shop. It's, it's on the west side where I work. I work on the west side, but it opens this summer. But it just was um, sweet to see a lady with a dream. A second African-American woman opened a cupcake shop. My friend told me about her. I read her bio and her mother died suddenly from cancer. I think she was diagnosed and died like three weeks later. Beautiful mama. So she had a picture of her mom. And she sells cupcakes in the suburb not far from me. So it's just showing you on a wing and a prayer, on a dream. You can have what you want. You got to believe it. Then you'll receive it. Tammy Sharice Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. 
hit that like button hit subscribe thank you for the beautiful comments i've been getting you are so sweet and kind i read every comment i respond to everything i try to lord don't let me start missing comments <laughs> god bless you all have a good day bye